Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and we've got something a little saucy to talk about today, and that is manscaping. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I get a ton of questions from you guys about it. Do women care about manscaping? Courtney, what do you think about manscaping? Should we be shaving? Should we not be shaving? There are just a ton of questions involving manscaping and shaving all your stuff. I think typically the majority falls into like one or two categories. So I'm gonna go over that, just give you guys the knowledge that I know. And before any of you leave a comment about how it's annoying to have to shave all the time or whatever you're gonna say. Let me start by saying, as a woman, I shave, I tweeze, I wax, and I understand the hassle that comes along with all of those things. I, it's a lot of upkeep, I get it. But in my opinion, I think it's worth it to be clean and fresh and feel good about yourself. So you most certainly do not have to do any sort of manscaping if you don't want to, but I'm sure that the special person in your life would appreciate the little bit of TLC. Just saying. Okay, so getting right into it, specifically I found this article from manscaped.com and this is in no way sponsored. I'm not working with Manscaped. This is just the article that I happened to stumble upon and I thought it was really funny. I had a good laugh reading it, um, but there's also some really good information in it as well. So I'm gonna be referencing that throughout the video um, and kind of reading some things from there. I enjoyed it and I think all of you will too. So let's get started. Okay, so this article is titled, Do Women Like Pubic Hair? Get the scoop here. So when I refer to manscaping, in this video specifically, it's going to be about kind of the below the belt region, okay? It's not gonna be about like chest hair or other body hair. I could do another video about that if that's something you guys would like to see. Um, but typically I don't think that's as big of a deal as pubic hair. Okay, so this, the first part here kind of talks about what do the polls say about women and whether or not they like pubic hair. And it says, um, there's this weird thing where not all women are completely identical. No one gets it, but here we are. So again, like I mentioned earlier, just because I'm saying this or just because one woman likes this doesn't mean every woman in the world is going to like the same thing. So keep that in mind. And honestly, I think you should just ask the person that you're with, hey, what do you prefer? Like, doesn't that make more sense to just be honest and ask? and hope that they give you an honest answer. Because if you're doing, if you're shaving designs into your pubic hair and you ask your partner like, hey, what, what would you prefer? And they're like, I hate the fact that you shave designs into your pubic hair, which is understandable, then you wouldn't want to do it anymore, right? Like, I don't think you should necessarily do everything in your life to please the person that you're with, but I think it's important to get their opinion, especially if you like them. Doesn't that just make sense? Okay, so a combination of polls that they looked at shows that 80 to 90% of women prefer some amount of grooming. So whether that, I mean, that could be anything. So much falls into some sort of grooming, but I think that involves just taking care of it in some aspect and not just letting it be like wild. And then 10 to 20% prefer guys with a completely unkempt bush. So we're gonna call that all natural. This means that going wild below the waist is not the default look. It may require less work, but you're not playing the odds. So clearly there's a big difference there. 80 to 90% of women prefer some sort of grooming and then only 10 to 20% prefer an all natural look. So I think that's a pretty big discrepancy. So I think it's safe to say, unless you're seeing a girl that likes you to look like you've never seen a razor in your life, you should probably be doing something. Okay, and this is the paragraph that made me laugh so hard. I don't know why. I was just like so confused when I first stumbled upon it. Okay, it says, women in rural areas are more likely to enjoy a bush. A woman's preference for pubic hair tends to vary with location. It's less geographical and more about population density of where they live. I wanna know where this information is coming from because I think that's very interesting. Okay, it says, here's what we mean. Here's what we mean by that. In rural communities, women are a lot more in favor of pubic hair than ladies in urban and suburban areas. Keep in mind that a clear majority of rural females still prefer grooming, but it's a smaller majority. So these are the girls that like the lumberjack look. Maybe their boyfriend has a full face of facial hair, so why the heck would they care what is below the belt? I actually asked one of my girlfriends because her husband is bald and then has this like huge beard and I asked her what she preferred and she said, I really don't care. And I'm like, well, duh. I mean, he has a full bush on his face. Why would you care what he's got going on down there? And she was like, yeah, you're absolutely right. I just really don't care. But it's nice when he trims it and keeps it like well-groomed and clean. And then next it says, similarly, urban women like guys who are completely shaved more than other groups. And then it says 12 to 16% like it completely bare, like shaving completely down, like there's not a hair in sight, which 
I don't really think, and clearly, I think mo more women care about the fact that you're just keeping it trimmed and like well-groomed rather than completely shaved off. So that can probably be kind of intimidating to feel like you have to shave it all. Um, but, but know that the percentage is like pretty much the same for women who like it completely bare in comparison to women who prefer it all natural. So it's a pretty small percentage. I think most women, if you ask the majority of women, they would just say something along the lines of just trim it. Just keep it well groomed like you would your face. Like just keep it clean, I think is the number one thing there. And then an important thing that I wanted to also note is that it says modern technology might cause trends to shift, but there will always be people who prefer sleeping outside, not having a cell phone, and members of the opposite sex who don't groom. Which is true, you think about it, like most people have a cell phone, most people use the internet, most people live in a house. Some people make the decision, even though modern technology has advanced at this point, to not have a cell phone, to not use the internet, to live in a hut in the middle of the woods, you know? So there's always going to be people who prefer different things. And I think it's important to find someone who likes what you like. If you don't like to shave, well, the person you're with just has to accept that, right? I mean, you should want to do things to make your partner happy, but you shouldn't completely change yourself. If you're living in the forest in Hawaii, do you think your partner that you're living with in the forest in Hawaii is going to care if you shave your pubic hair? Probably not, because she's probably not going to shave hers either or her armpits, and you're probably a match made in heaven. Is that my preference? No. And I feel like most women would agree that that is not their preference. But there are women who don't shave their armpits. And that's their choice and you don't have to like them. And I will always shave my armpits regardless of what the trends are. So basically what I'm saying is no matter who you are, no matter what you're into, no matter how you like to trim your pubic hair, there's going to be a girl that likes you, okay? Unless you're thinking of shaving into some weird design or a landing strip, don't do that. There's also a paragraph about just being trimmed, which is where that 80 to 90% of women kind of fall into and I think and it says, I'll, I'll just read it to you. If you like safe beds, then you need to trim, but not shave all the way down. So women who don't fit into the other categories of liking the naked mole rat look or liking the bush fall into trimming and grooming of some sort. So just keeping it maintained, again, well-groomed and clean and well kept up like you would your facial hair. That means roughly two thirds of all women in the US want you to trim your pubes but not go completely bare. That means you can get a trimmer, use the longest cutting guard, give your unmentionables a once over and call it good. If you aren't already trimming down to this look like 68% of men, you need to get caught up. And then it says, on the bright side, this makes things pretty easy. On the other hand, many variations fit into the broad category of some trimming. Oh, so they're gonna break those down too. I'm not gonna read word for word because I don't wanna start talking about your butt crack, okay? You can read this if you wanna read this. I will link it below for you. Oh, and this says, your sex life will be impacted. Let's face it, your mind went there first. For many women, the presence of overgrown pubic hair does alter the nature of a sexual relationship. Removing your pubic hair will leave you fresh and happy. Some science suggests pubic hair is good for your hygiene. That science is ignoring something that every human being knows all too well. Balls stink. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm just gonna leave it here. The best advice I can give you, the takeaway from this video is just keep things well-groomed, keep things trimmed and clean. I think cleanliness is the number one factor of all. We don't want any smelly things going on down there. Trimming is probably the best and easiest option and the lady in your life will appreciate it. So again, don't be afraid to ask your partner um, what they prefer. I think when you're in a relationship, when you're seeing someone, when you're intimate with someone, it is important to understand their preferences and communicate about those things with each other. So don't be afraid to ask, keep that in mind. But if you wanna know the safest option, it is keeping it well-groomed and keeping it trimmed. So guys, that is all I have for this video. I know it was much different than anything I've ever covered before, but I just think stumbling upon that article mixed with all the questions I get from you guys about it, I had to talk about it today. So if you guys like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys do to keep yourself trimmed. Obviously, I'm not a guy, so if you guys just share your knowledge with each other down below, that would be incredibly helpful. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.